Okay, as you can tell from the title, um, we're here today to find out how to play games from AIM that require CHDs, uh, otherwise known as hard disk images, compressed hard disks, my, uh, I'm sorry, and from AIM to be able to uh, see them. So, what we're going to go now is go to set of files. So these are all the names I have right here. But mainly I use point one one nine because uh, that's more uh, simple to me, and I don't use CL CLR Main Pro because it's really too complicated. But anyhow, so first of all, in order to find a game that requires a CHD, just download the um, first. You need to download the main INI files, which would be here on INI. And you'd have it right here. So it it's um series I believe or cat list something like that. But just download the INI files. You can find them on multiple websites. And then you'll have the information as it's seen on here on the right hand side. So obviously I have snapshot flyers cabinets. I don't have a uh, marquee, but I have title and control panel. But we're gonna use the first killer instinct as an example. So if you scroll down the information here, you'll find a little text that says hard disk required right here. Right here. That means you need a CHD. So now the problem is how to find one. So mainly this is the this is where the part where <laughs> noobs start to shine, as I can say. So um Basically, just go on Google and do a search. Say, uh, killer. Hold up. Killer Instinct CHD download. And this is what you get. So, it's really easy. So just download the CHD. You can find it on romworld.com or MB Paradise, any of these website. So after you get it, um, just make a folder called CHDs or something, just to place it in or extract it and put it on your desktop. But after you've done that, you should have a file called kinst.chd. And remember, we're just using Killer Instinct, the first one as an example, the arcade version. So you should have this file right here after you extracted it so what you do is simply make a new folder title it the same title as this and the same title as um the arcade file or ROM this is uh, this is my arcade files right here it's my main games but just go to Killer Instinct which is KINST it's the exact same name so name it that and as you can see it's the name C H D also. So name it K I N S T and then drag the C H D file into the file. Make sure it has the same name as the folder. So after you've done that, all you simply do is have this folder go back to your, where you store your um ROMs or games or whatever it's called. And just drag it into the drag it into the the thing drag into the folder and there you have it so now if you go on if you go on your main yeah you should have it it should be highlighted but the thing is um, different mains differ in what the game senses or not when you do an audit so this one sees killer instinct and it's playable see if I do if I right click and press audit it'll say past and none required. If I, but if I go to a game like Red Earth, then I'll, and then it'll do this stuff, which means this main is not up to date, or you haven't. Well, I don't use CLR Main Pro, but it has something to do with that. But if you go to other mains, say UFI X32, um, uh, then you go to CHG. As you see, the yellow means uh, working with some problems and glitches, or 
but as you can see it sees red earth as and the other one didn't but if I go to killer instinct it doesn't see it so it just depends on what meme you use and whatever whether or not the meme is gonna find it so you just have to check up on that and and also uh send it this main Sin32 also does the same thing because both of these are uh, main point one three seven. Both these are both of these are point one three seven, so they're up to date. Obviously, I know that main updates like every week, so it's pointless to keep downloading it. So by the time you see this, this main might be old. But all right, so that was the end of the tutorial. Um, comment, subscribe, you know. Thanks for watching.